Hey there, fellow traders. Today, we're going to explore the global economic calendar. Now, let's break it down. We are here to walk you through what it is, why it matters to traders like us, and how we can actually use it to our advantage. So, what's the deal with an economic calendar? An economic calendar is like a roadmap of upcoming economic events that might make waves in the markets. Think stuff like interest rate announcements, GDP releases, and those pesky unemployment reports. Why is this calendar a big deal for us? Well, economic events can be like that surprise party you didn't see coming. They can totally shake up the prices of currencies, stocks, indices, and other assets. And guess what? By keeping an eye on this calendar, we can position ourselves to ride those market waves. So, how do we put this calendar to work? Easy peasy, there's more than one way to make it happen. You can give the calendar a quick scan to spot events that line up with your trading strategy. Or you can set up cool alerts that ping you when something big is happening. And here's some wisdom for using it like a pro. 1. Spotlight on high-impact events. Not every economic event is a game-changer. Focus on stuff like interest rate news and GDP releases, they're more likely to cause fireworks in the markets. 2. Clock in the timing. Some events drop during the night, and that can spark some wild trading when the sun rises. Keep that in mind. 3. Tailor to your currency pair. The effect of an event can differ based on the currency pair you're playing with. U.S. interest rate dance might hit the US dollar Canadian dollar pair harder than the Euro US dollar pair. Closing Thoughts This global economic calendar isn't just any calendar. It's a treasure map to potential trading opportunities. When you use it smartly, you can stay ahead of the game and ride those market roller coasters like a pro. If you're curious or have any thoughts, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. Thanks a million for hanging out with me today. Catch you in the next one.